Hello students. I guess you all are safe and home. Surgeon here with third video for same unit that is what integers, powers and roots. Today we are going to cover these two topics that is more about prime numbers. Last video we discussed something about the prime numbers that will continue here. This is the topic more about prime numbers and one more new topic added that is power and roots. Okay. This uh, like uh, for more about prime numbers here actually what we are going to deal is like how to find uh, factors, prime factors of any numbers by the methods of using this factor tree. We call it factor tree. Okay. What is factor tree actually? I will just show you by with one example. Let's take 24. As you all know that last video I already told you prime number means any number having exactly two factors. For example, 2 is prime number, 3 is prime number, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. Because all these numbers, they have exactly two factors. 1 and the number itself. You know that. Okay, here we are going to find the factors, prime factors, by three factor three methods okay so let us do like that okay I'll take two because two is prime number two times how much is 24 you know that two times 12 is 24 right that's why I wrote 12 but when I look it 12 is not a prime number. You know that. Because 12 has more than two factors. That is why 12 is not a prime number. So what I need to do here is, again I have to break this 12 into two different factors. Okay? These two I will not touch because it is done. It is prime number. Why I am touching 12? Because 12 is not a prime number. Now, still I can take two. Two is prime, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, my duty is to find 2 times how much is 12. Simple, 2 times 6 is 12. That's why I wrote here 6. 2 times 12, 24. 2 times 6, 12. 2 is prime. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to touch 6 because 6 is not a prime number. Because these are the prime numbers. 6 is not present here. Because 6 has more than 2 factors. That's why 6 is also not a prime. So again what I will do is, I'll break down 6 again. Since 2 is prime, I can use here 2. Now 2 times how much is 6? 3. Done. Why? 2 is also prime, 3 is also prime. 2 is prime, 3 is prime. I have to stop there now. So these are my factors and this method is called factor tree method. So if the question is find the factors of 24 using factor tree method, then write 24 for here, then use this method and this method you know that it's called a factor tree. So from here you can conclude in this way, thus the Factors of 24, okay, you can just give this equal, take this, since we have split it up, don't that, take this, this also we have split into these two, this two number is not split at anymore, so I can take this two also, okay, two, two, 2, 3, this is my prime factors of 24, is that clear? Okay, this we can write in this way also, look here carefully, how many 2's are here, 1, 2, 3, 
we have three twos. So I can write like this. Two we have three times. This means two we have three times. Two, two, two. Can you see here? Okay? Now we have one single tree left. That I can just write like this. You got me my points? This can be written as this. We can do it. Okay? And here, and we got power with our second topic is we are going to cover them. Is it clear? So this is factor tree. You can solve all the questions that is uh, related to this topic, like find the factors of so and so using factor tree method. Use this method, you can do by yourself. Okay? So we have not touched our next topic, power and roots. I'd like to clear here because it's little relation. See, for example, like uh, 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 5. Okay, we we'll learn something here. 3 we have 2 times. This I can write like this. Okay, into 5 we have 3 times. I can write like this. Is that clear? So if five is we if five we have ten times. Just write five to the power ten. Okay? Now now just look here. We call it seven square. And this is called index or power you might be hearing power power this is the one power this means two times we need to write seven like seven into seven okay now then what about this okay we we come to know that two is called power then what does this seven call it is called best okay Best. You understood? It can be any number. See, this is power or index. Okay? And this 8 is best. That's it. Now you can solve 1.3 by yourself. You try it. And I will just give a hint of question number 6, 7, 8. So please uh, check your textbook. Question number 6. They ask you to find LCM, HCF of two numbers by the product of prime. Here they are talking about a prime number and you know what is prime number, right? So now you have to find the LCM and find the HCF by prime factorization methods. Is that clear? Okay. I wrote these two questions. From here I'll give some idea how to find LCM and HCF by prime factors method. Okay. 30. Factor tree. Use the fa factor tree which you have learned just now. 30. In which table will you get 30? 2 table? Yes. 2 times 15, 30. 2 I will not touch. It is dumb because it is a prime number. 15 I will touch because 15 is not a prime number. Because I have to observe this prime. Okay. <clears throat> In the last video, we also learned how to find the HCF and LCM, right? But on the, there, we don't care about anything. We just find, like, using factors, method, or multiples. Right there, we took common and got it. But here, you have to be a little bit careful because the question is talking about prime factors. You have to take only prime numbers. That's it. Okay? So this is done. Now 15 is not prime, so I'm going to break up this. In 3 table I will get 3 times 5, 15. Now I cannot break up this because both are prime. So my answer is 2, 3, 5. Okay? This I can write here. 2, 3, 5. I've done with 13. Now I'll go and solve in the same manner 45 also. Same factor three method. In three table, will, will you get 45? Yes. Three times 15, 45. 
Okay? 3 is a prime number I'm not going to touch. 15 is not prime, I'm going to break it up. 15 in which table I'll get? 3 times 5, 15. Now both are prime. So my answer is 3, 3, 5. Okay. Understood? Now I'm done with that. Factors. Now, if you are asked to find LCM, therefore, LCM is, take the common. Two is here, but there are there is no two. Three is common. I'll take three. This is a little bit different. You please guess the idea. First, I'm taking out the common. Three is common. What what else? Five is also common. Can you see here? Common. So I'll take five also. Okay. This is how I have to find the same. After that, it is not done. First, I have to take the common. I took it. Now again, I have to take which numbers are left. Here, what number left? Two. I have to take that also. Here, what number left? Three. At last, I'm done. This is my LCM. First, you take out the common. Three, three common. I took five, five common. That also I took. Now, the one which are left, two and three. That also I took. That's it. Now, multiply all this. That is your LCM. M. 3 times 5, 15. 15 times 2, 30. 30 times 3, 90. This is relative. Is it clear? Now, how to find HCF? Okay. HCF is nothing. It's very simple again. Take the common. What is common there? 3 is common. Can you see here? 3 common. 1 more common. 5. Done. The left number, we will not touch anything while dealing with the HCF. 3 times 5, 15. 15 is your HCF. And LCM is 90. See. First, find the common. Find the common. Same. But in LCM, take the one which are left, multiply. And in HCF, no need to do that. Only take the common. Is that clear? OK. Now let's proceed to the next topic, that is power and fruits. Before that, I'd like to give some idea about this. You know this? This is called square root. Or we can, we can even call it radical sign, okay? And how to deal with this type of bracket? There are like, a, again, one more bracket, which you are going to get. Square root, cube root. It is actually square root, two is there. And we never saw this. Okay. Do not solve that. So this is called square root, cube root. And what is this and how to use this? Examples, just look here. Uh, I'll just take a small number. Uh, two, two. Okay. Here also I'll take like. under square root, under cube root. Now, if you want this number to come out from the square root or cube root, all you need to do is keep this in mind. Now they are since under the radical sign. Okay? So if you want to come up, as I already told you, it's a square root, 2 is there. That means you have to search peer, peer. Okay? Can you see here? Two. Pair. 
this two is paired, so one, two will come out from this pair root. That's it. Multiply sign. Again, can you see another pair? This two will also come out. Only one will come out. That's it. Two times two, four. This answer is four. Okay? Like you have did also in previous video. Also. Now here, what happened? Why we took pair, pair? Because there is two actually. That's why this is called a square root, okay? Now, it's a cube root. Three is there. Can you see here? So if you want to come out from the cube root, all you need to do is take a group of these three. One, two, three. Yes, one, two, came out from the cube root. Again, one, two, three. Another two also came out from the root. One, two, three. Yes, all two came out from the cube root. Now what will be the answer? Two times two, four, four times two, eight is done. Is that clear? Okay. Now some of you might thinking, yeah, we have exactly we have three pair, or three group, uh, three group, then everywhere exactly. That's why it can easily come up. And here, two, two. That's why it come up. What if there is like one extra? This kind of doubt I will just clear up you. For example, uh, let's take this square root. Three. 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 Okay. Now as we are taking like two, one pair, if it is one pair, one will come out. Can you see here? One pair. So one three came out. Now this tree left alone. No pair with this tree. No other tree is present, right? So this tree cannot come out from the square root. Can you see here? Done. This tree came out, see, came out from the square root, but one tree is still inside. This tree does not have its partner. Okay? Got it? Same case here. For example, Q. Okay? Can you see a tree? So one five will come out from the cube root. It's left. That's it. Okay. If there is one more five, still it's left because they don't have. We are searching a set of three. It's not only a set of two. So this five and five cannot come out from the square. Root. Can you see that? Five times five. 25 is still there. Is that clear? We are going to build this in your exercise. I'll let you, ex I'll let you know. Now just to clear all these ideas, practically, like let, let us go to exercise 1.4. Please check in your textbook. Question number A. Find the value of each power. So what they gave you like, like that. How will you read this? Three square. Okay. Four square. Four cube. This square and this two and three power has a specific name. When two is there, we call it square. Four square. When three is there, four cube. See, they have a special special name, square, cube. But what if it is like, they don't have a special name, okay? Or what if it is like, how do you read? Four square, you know that? Four cube, okay? Five to the power four. Is that? Okay. Seven to the power five. Any number you have to go in, read in this way. Like for example, 8 to the power 10. Okay? Okay. Now, how would I read this? 3 square. Okay? So, how will you solve this? this? They ask you to find the value of 3 square. Very simple. We have already learned. 
3 square with this means two, this power 2 means like square means 3 is having 2 times 3 is 2 times we have to write 3 2 times is that good? like this 3 we have to write 2 times that's it why 2 times? because we have power 2 if the power is 3 we will write 3 times if the power is 10 we will write 3 10 times that's it yeah. 3 times 3 9 that's the value of 3 square is 9 the value of 3 square is 9 you can do all Okay, it's same. Now, question number two also, it's same. 10 to the power 6 is 1 million. 10 to the power 6 is 1 million. And 10 to the power 9 is 1 million. Okay, a question asks you like uh, write down these two numbers in full. Okay, one by one. Ten to the power six. Solution. What does this mean? This means ten you need to write six times. Okay? You understood what is the meaning of power? Here power is six. That means this base ten you need to write six times like that ten you need to write six times one time two three four five six is that okay now when you multiply all this what will you get very simple right how many zeros are there you need to count one two three four five six one two three four five six is this one million ten to the power six is one million as it already told you ten to the power six is one million let's check international system units tens hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand million yes one million now what about this ten to the power nine same guess they said it's one billion Let's check. This 10 you need to write 9 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is that okay? Now when you multiply, what will you get? How many zeros are there? 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is it 1 billion? Let's find out. Unit stands hundred thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten million, hundred million, billion. Yes, this is how you have to give your answer. Is that okay? Now let us go to question number four. In each pair, which of the two numbers is larger? This you can do. You can do because they will give like something like this or check out. They said which is greater? This is greater or this is greater? Find out. First you write like this. 3 to the power 5 and 5 to the power here. 5 to the power 3. 3 you have to write 5 times. Like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Clear? 5 you have to write 3 times. Like 1, 2, 3. Now multiply all this and write the answer here. Multiply all this and write the answer here and find the, uh, from the answer you check out which is greater. If this is greater, that means 3 to the power 5 is greater than this. If this is greater, that means 5 to the power 3 is greater than this. You can do it. You try it by yourself, okay? Okay, question number 5 I will do for you. Question number 5 is n to the power 3 is 27. They gave you n to the power 3 is 
Okay. Now here, what you need to do is this number you know, this number you know, but they have given alphabet. Now you have to find what is this n. Okay. So let me take different number. If I take two, if I take n is equal to two, then what will happen? n cubed equals 27. I took n two, so this n is become two now. See, power we have three. This is the one equals 27. Okay. Now two, three times you do. One, two, three. Two times two, four. Four times two, eight. Is this same? No, they are not equal. That means taking n equals to 2 is wrong. So what you will take now? Let's take n equal to 3 and check. I took n 3. The power is 3, 27. 3, I'll have to write 3 times, like that. Equals 27. 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 3, 27. Can you see that? Left hand side equals to right hand side. That means N3 is correct. Thus, the value of N is 3. The rest you can try? Yes? When I look at the question, all are similar. I'm sure you can try. You please try by yourself. Here, one, one question I will solve for you. That is question number 12. Okay? That is, they have given like 2 to the power 10 is equal to 1024. 2 to the power 10 is equal to 1024. Whoa. Understood? This means what? This is given in the question. So this means 2 10 times you write. 1 times 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. When you multiply all this, you will get 1024. Okay. 2 to the power 10 is this one. That means 2 to the power 10 means 2 you have to write 10 times. I wrote it. This is question, given in the question. Okay. Now, the main thing is like uh, A. They ask you find 2 to the power 11. Can you find in very quick, in, in a quickly manner, like without doing like this, like 2 you have to write 11 times, I agree. Two, 1 times, 2 times, 3 times, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, only to go like that. Okay? The shortcut way of writing here is, what? This is 11. Till 10 you know. Can you see here? 2, 10 times you got 1024. To 10 times is 1024. 10 times done. One more 2 you need to make it 11, right? Till 10 I did it. To 10 times is 1024. Now one more 2 I did it. Now it becomes 11. It's 10, 11. Can you say 2, 11? So when you multiply this, what do you get? 2 times 4, 8. 2 times 2, 4. 2 times 0, 0. 2 times 2, 2. 2048. Is that okay? Now you can find easily. 212 times how much? Can you find? Yes. Because till 11 you know now. And you are searching 12. That means what? Till 11 is 2048. Write down. Till 11, I got it. Now one more is needed to make 12. To make it 12, right? One more 2 is needed. Find it. 2 times 8, 16. 2 times 4, 8. 2 times 6, 4096. That can find anything. So this will help you lots. Right? They gave you this in the question. You observe this from there. Within some few seconds, you, you can get all this. Okay? You try it by yourself. Now, 1, 3, yeah. Okay, this type of question is there in your textbook. I'll solve, like I'll just give you an idea, you can do by yourself. 
What do you need to do here? Nothing. One, three times you write. One, two, three. Plus, two, three times you write. One, two, three. Still square root is there. Well, how, how I know that this is square root? There is no cube. That means this is square root. One times one, one. One times one, one. Got it? Plus, two times two, four. Four times two, eight. You got it? One plus eight, nine. Can I come out from the square root? Of course. Why and how? Nine, can I write like this? Three times three, nine. Can you see? Pier. If this is pier, one will come out. You got it. The rest you can try by yourself. All are similar. Okay, Shilari, I want you to try all this and you will submit. I'll surely help you. Okay? So, thank you for being with me. Study at home properly. Okay, sir. Thank you for being with me. We'll meet in our next video. Till then, take good care of your health. Or again. Mm -hmm. Up. Okay, thank you so much, children. Stay home and stay safe. Take good care of your health. And do all the assignment and let me know. I will surely help you.